During the summertime, several kids are sitting at home with not much to do, and plenty of kids around the country and world have joined the 50-yard challenge to help those in their community. And this year, the Mercer football team has also joined the initiative, hoping to make their own positive impact. The Mercer University football team is the first college athletics program or school to accept the 50-yard challenge through Raising Men and Women Lawn Care Services, which provides free lawn care service to elderly, disabled, single parents, veterans, or anyone else in need in their communities. When head coach Drew Chronic learned about the challenge, it was a no-brainer to accept it. It was a program, we can do that. If every guy just goes and does one yard, you know, we can get 70, 80 yards mowed. Um, and anytime we can go serve, our guys learning how to, in today's world, learn how to serve, how to go be good to people, um, is a big deal to me. The founder of the organization, Rodney Smith Jr., launched the 50 yard challenge to provide kids the opportunity to help in their communities during the summertime. Kids who mow 50 lawns receive a new mower, weed eater, and a leaf blower. As for Mercer's football team, they will choose five kids in Macon to give new lawn mowing equipment to so that they can go forward and provide similar services to others in the community. It's a win-win, and you know, with those men taking part in the 50-yard challenge, it hopefully uh, encourages other schools to step up. So we're very proud of Mercer for stepping up and being that first school and, 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 um, and making it happen. It also gives the younger kids someone to look up to, you know, because these, these men who are on, on this football team, they're going to go and finish college and some are going to go to NFL and some are going to start businesses. As for offensive lineman Nijuan Mansell, he learned a few lessons while helping those back home in his community in Anderson, South Carolina. First, it saves people money, so that always helps. And a lot of people aren't able to do it themselves. Like a lot of people, like, like I wasn't able to borrow someone's lawn where I had to go find my own to go cut that person's grass who I cut. I mean, you kind of take it take it for, um, for granted how some people aren't able to cut their own grass, which is very surprising. It might be super surprising, but it is also a reality. And doing helpful gestures just like these are so important in our community now, especially with everything that's been going on in the world over the past few years. Kids, you still have all summer to get involved, so head to weareraisingmen.com or message Rodney on Twitter or Instagram to begin your 50-yard challenge. And if mowing lawns might be too much, simple gestures or doing anything to help others is what it's all truly about.